Hey guys, Mark 10 Compact Hydrogen Reactor has become the easiest device to make. Dozens of my students started doing it and naturally accumulated a lot of technical questions. So, sit back and relax and prepare to have some fun a little bit longer than our usual 3 minutes. If you know what I mean. Mark X, how it works, how it's made, how much does it eat, how much gas it produces, all the points are in this video. I set several tasks in size, power and functions when developing this reactor. It had to be the most compact hydrogen reactor I ever made, which can always be handy and convenient to carry with you. Also, there should be a filter in this reactor to stop the bubbles and foam that appears during electrolysis process and spoil my gas system. So, it's time for our traditional section, how it works with Alex Lab. At the heart of reactor is a flat DC-powered electrolyzer. The reactor core is a pair of plates in hermetic corpus. Between the plates you can pour water, alkali or any liquid that comes to hand. When current is applied to the plates, water decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen. The resulting combustible gas go to the filter, the filter stops the foam and water vapor and after draining, gas can be used as fuel for any good cases not going beyond the laws of your country. For convenient operating I designed a system of holes in the reactor. A hole for pouring liquid and to drain it, holes for gas to flow from the core to the filter for drying and the hole for gas output. Using this reactor it is possible to get 1868 liters of combustible gas from only one liter of water. So you don't need to pour and drain the water too often, I do it only for transportation by plane. Well, you shouldn't take fully powered hydrogen reactor with your luggage. And they look at the monitor and you again and then the monitor again and you again and say something like this. Sir, did you pack your luggage yourself? No, some beer hobo asked to pass on something to his friend to Europe, I thought why not? All plexiglass parts, metal plates, a platform for lightning and decorative grid I designed in AutoCAD so you can download the finished files and fit it to the laser cut machine. But if the laser is not set, the parts can always be cut using a manual jigsaw as do half of my fellows from India and Pakistan. Love such guys who see the opportunity to breathe the life into any piece of iron. All edges are processed with a file. The plate themselves are ground with a sandpaper, first up and down and then from left to right. Such treatment will prevent gas bubbles from sticking to the electrodes due to surface tension. Otherwise, this greatly increases the resistance of the reactor due to the high gas filling rate of the core. I refuse to build the corpus on the screws and nuts for the sake of compactness in this model. Therefore, the entire reactor is assembled with glue and soldering. Carefully prepare all surfaces for gluing, clean the dust and an oil with a solvent. Do it thoroughly, otherwise everything will be ruined because of one non-glued area. I try my best, but you know, even if you can make something really cool, there will always be an Asian guy on YouTube who will do it better. Take a deep breath and proceed to the gluing. Or vice versa, proceed to the gluing and take a deep breath, just for a good mood. First, glue the electrode to the back of the reactor. Put a frame under the bottom and take aim at it to glue exactly when necessary. You can use thick plexiglass trim parts and clamps to press down the units. Remove excess glue around the edges and leave it to dry. In such a manner glue the front wall with the electrode. While the parts are glued, let's do the processing of the frame. Make the grooves for output the electrode terminals on each side of the frame. By the way, I specially adjusted the width of the electrodes to the size of 5mm file. The depth of the groove is greater than the electrode thickness, because there we will also install a rubber sealing gasket. Then we drill holes. Very damn neat! While the reactor is under construction, treat it like a crystal one. In all the holes except the gas output, we cut the threads for the M3 screws. The only hole that will love some special handling is the one that connects the reactor core with the filter. The drill will not fit through here, so we do it with a hot screw. Ta-da! The holes are made! After we are breathing enough glue and completely relaxed, Proceed to the manufacture of the filter. Bubble stop filter is made of micron mesh strips which do everything not to get into the filter cell. 
If it were not for Relax FM and not a coffee stick from Dodo Pizza, I'll definitely put my hands on myself. As soon as you have a filter of sufficient high, fix it immediately with a tape, otherwise he behaves like a Billy the Kid from the Green Mile movie. Remember that 20 kilos of high quality heat frost acid alkali resistant rubber that guy sent me from Kirelli's company? So we take these 20 kilos and cut off two micro pieces from it. These will be the ceiling gaskets. Insert them into the slots, impose walls and glue the entire reactor. Evenly but gently ping the entire structure with the clamps and go to the gym. When the glue is completely dry, we solder all the seams with a round soldering iron. This will further increase the strength and leak-proofness of the reactor. Pass the places near the terminals with a special care. Now we make the gas output nozzle. Cut off a piece of copper tube, process the edges and glue it in the hole. Reaching this fitting, the gas is cleaned of foam and steam, and then it goes to the gas distribution system. You can attach a pair of wires to the reactor, pour water and check how it works. Also, the electrolyzer can be tested for a tightness with a syringe. Just do not overdo it on the joists. But what kind of reactor is it if it doesn't glow, right? So that the light of the reactor was even and epic, like in a movie and not like in a children's flashlight, I created a complex thing. Therefore, the backlight system consists of LED strip, a light guide platform and a diffuser. A diffuser can be removed from the waste fluorescent lamp. Its dimensions coincide with the external dimensions of the reactor. And by the way, the decorative grid will be glued to it. LED tape glued to the light guide with the help of hold the breath scotch tape. There must be something in the reactor that will stick to the scotch, right? Don't be afraid, it won't affect reliability. Stick the platform with the LED to the reactor, press the clamps tightly but not much, otherwise the walls of the reactor can crack. The diffuser is attached to the platform with screws. If the screws are made in the right places, the grid will hide them and they will be invisible. Close the LED with a cable hosing so that nothing happens to it during hot exploitation. Now you can check if the backlight is working. Well, is there someone who will make the reactor without illumination? Now it's time to refuel the reactor. The first option is called just add the water. Fill tap water through the filler hole and apply a voltage of 1.5 to 2 volts. And the second option, which is a little more fun, with a chemical. If you add a pinch of caustic soda to the water, it will increase the gas yield by 2-3 times. Make a 15 KOH solution and plant 20 ml right in the hut. Tighten the charging screw and supply current. From the end phase it can be seen that everything works and fuel gas comes out through the tube. The model that you now see on your television screens I sacrificed to the science and tested it for maximum pressure in three atmospheres. You may notice that because of this the back wall has become unstuck from the electrode. But here you can see how water is separated into gases and dried through a filter. On performance Mark X is not inferior to Mark I but smaller in size. Supply voltage of the electrolyzer is not more than 4 volts and for the backlight you need 12 volts. To power the electrolyzer and the backlight from one battery assembly, we connect a voltage converter from 4 to 12 volt into the circuit. The control unit is placed in a small box and mounted on the belt. Voltage is fed to the reactor through the flat cable, which simultaneously allows the reactor to stay on the chest. If you fail to make the reactor at the first attempt, do not discourage. I also did not succeed, the first badly taped because of one extra filter strip, the second burst on my chest, but I really have a strong belief that you can do it. For strongly minded maniacs there is a PDF version with all sizes, drawings, a complete list of components, tools and AutoCAD files for cutting, click on the link below to get it. Click the like, subscribe and stay tuned to learn how to build even greater project with me.